Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Paul. Today is December 30th, 2013. It is Monday. That is the last time I will be saying that because it's a lot of you probably imagined. Um, we won't be doing the vlog project anymore after uh, tomorrow, December 31st. Um, because uh, no one really made videos other than me and Kenzie. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go on and um, probably do our own separate things. I know I am... Um, I'd imagine Kenzie probably, uh, will do something. Uh, I hope everyone does. Um, I think that, uh, Gwyneth and Julia and Andy are all, all really interesting, uh, people. I think Gwyneth is a fantastic filmmaker. I think, uh, Julia is a fantastic, um, poet and just, just artist in general. Um, and I think, you know, Andy is a really, you know, you just, he's so talented in diverse ways that it's hard to characterize him. Um, he's an amazing singer, he's a fantastic musician, he's a great uh, person to be around. He's just a really interesting guy, and I think that every, all of them have really interesting ways. Um, and I didn't even mention Kenzie, but I'll make Kenzie do something, because I have that power. Um, not really. Um, so, I thought I'd talk a little bit for my last vlog project video um, on kind of... Uh, everything that made the vlog project kind of come into existence. So I'm gonna start way way back. Um, so when I was in elementary school, I mean this is like way way back. Um, this is like the full story. Um, I always really loved the school plays, and I, I, I loved going to them. I loved watching them, and I was like, I, you know, I want to do that. So in fourth grade, I got to do that, and that was really fun. Uh, and I kept doing that, um, and it was through this studio that um, put them on other school um, and then I'd also do their summer camps and then I didn't do anything um, to like ninth grade uh, and then I was like you know what I'm gonna do this and I got to uh, and I did a glee camp and that's how I got into glee I'm not into glee anymore because it kind of went downhill but um, and then I did uh, Sioux school at my school and that was really fun I had a really good time with that and then our producer, who'd actually produced all of the shows um, that I did at my old school, in my elementary school too, um, had suggested that I audition for a main stage show uh, at the studio. And I did. Uh, and I got in, and I met Gwyneth, and that was awesome. That was really fun. And that summer I got to do Once on this Island twice, which is an interesting story that I may tell later on my other channel that I'm making that I'll leave a link to in the description. Um, and then I got into Your Good Man, Charlie Brown, which was super fun, and I love that. Um, and during that, um, Gwyneth was in, uh, I Never Saw Another Butterfly, which was a beautiful production, um, that I really enjoyed seeing. Uh, and I saw that with Julia, actually. She came with me, and that was really fun. Um, and, and so we saw I Never Saw Another Butterfly. Uh, we didn't see... Kenzie's cast, she was also in that show, we'll get there in a second. Um, and one night on Facebook, as I was browsing, as I often do, Gwyneth posted um, a bunch of pictures of her with uh, The Fault in Our Stars, and made it like her profile picture and stuff, and uh, The Fault in Our Stars is by author John Green, who I met, or well, not met, obviously, but um, who I discovered um, through his YouTube channel, uh, Vlog Brothers, which is incredibly popular, and you probably know it if you watch our videos. And if you don't, go check them out. They're amazing. Um, John and Hank Green, they also do Crash Course, if you're familiar with that. Um, but their main channel is Vlog Brothers, and it's fantastic. Um, uh, and I discovered them just one day, browsing through YouTube. That's an entirely new story, entirely different story that I'm not going to bother going into. Anyway, so I was just like, hey, this is an amazing book. And then this person, also this other person, I was just like, oh, I love that book. Who, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, are you a nerd fighter? And they're like, I have no idea what that means. And so we introduced them. And then Gwyneth was just later, I had told her this idea I had for um, television that was more like YouTube. And it was basically, you know, everyone, you get five people and one person per week to, just to show that it's possible to make um, basically a vlogging television show. Um, with a new episode every week, uh, which it kind of devolved from that into what it became. Um, but on our on a good week early in the vlog project, I say we probably had about that. That's about what we had. Uh, a little lower quality, um, but you know, with nicer cameras and stuff, we probably 
you know, you could get to that level. Um, and then from there, Gwyneth was just like, yeah, and I think, you know, we should also get uh, this person who was in Butterfly with me, who um, was the person we were talking to. And I was just like, yeah, sure. And it was Kenzie. Um, and that was awesome. So I met Kenzie. Yay. That's good. Always good. Um, and then we were like, well, what about Andy? Andy's a pretty cool guy. He's fun. He's a nerd fighter. He's just an awesome guy all around. And we were like, yeah, let's do it. So we added Andy to that. And then I was just like, well, here's this other person that I know who's awesome and a nerd fighter and just a cool person. And that was Julia. And so then we had all five people. Woohoo! Yay! And then, um, and then we started. Um, but before that, on. Jeez, that was over a year ago. That uh, we all tried to meet at Starbucks, and uh, everyone but Julia could come. You know, met at Starbucks and talked about it. Um, and we agreed on a lot of rules and stuff. Um, very few of which actually came into fruition, except for keeping relationships out of it. Um, <laughs> sorta. That didn't entirely work. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, but uh, you know. It's been a ride, and I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about um, communities. I've learned a lot about people. Um, I'm actually going to upload the first video that I made, which was like a test video um, that we all made. I think I still have it. If not, it's on Facebook somewhere. I'm going to try to upload that. Um, we all made test videos to you know make sure that we could um, make videos. Um, yeah, well... It's, uh, it's weird. You know, it's the last time I'm gonna say it's Monday and be the only one uh, vlogging on Mondays. Uh, who knows, maybe we'll still upload to this channel if, um, if we do anything interesting together, you know, kind of thing. Um, yeah. Don't put it past us. We write cool songs or whatever. Um, I'm just kind of at a loss for words. Because, uh, it's really sad. Um, this isn't like the April Fool's one, by the way. It is, we are, um, we are actually ending it. Which is kind of a bummer, because I kind of wanted to have a, a series of April Fool's pranks. But, um, you know. What are you going to do? Uh, and, and don't think that this is like, people didn't watch it. Because actually, there was a lot of people who told me that they actually really, really enjoyed it. Which is... You know, a lot of them told us, told me that um, after we decided we were going to cancel it. But nonetheless, I mean, that's a, there was a good portion of people who were like, yeah, I used to watch it, like, religiously. And, and that's really awesome. And that's really odd and really frightening um, that someone relies on me for, you know, entertainment. I'm not really... I don't think of myself as an entertaining person. Um, so, you know, I don't really... I, I don't really know what to say in terms of how this has affected me. Um, you know, we didn't get famous. We didn't get, you know, it, it was just something fun for us to do, for our friends and for each other. Um, I think while it lasted, it was really good. So I hope that you've enjoyed the vlog project. I hope you've enjoyed my part of it. Um, I sat down and made a video a year ago tomorrow. I made my first video, and I threw it up barely onto the Google Drive so that Gwyneth or Kenzie could uh, download it and re-upload it. And I think it was Kenzie. Maybe it was Gwyneth. I'm not sure. Because um, I was going to a Christmas party. <laughs> or, uh, no, not a Christmas party. A, uh, a New Year's Eve party. So, that was fun. Um, yeah, that was... Uh, put that together really fast. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching the vlog project. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link to my new channel that I'm starting. I haven't really entirely gotten it all up yet or anything. Um, content starting January 1st, 2014. Hopefully, it'll be a variety of stuff, maybe some gaming, music, vlogging, everything. Um, if anyone else from the vlog project starts a channel, links will be in the description. Um, yeah. Uh, if you guys want more content, let us know, but it will most certainly not be regular. So, thank you guys for watching. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Hopefully, 
you've had a birthday on a day that someone has said happy birthday to you. If not, then happy birthday to you, because I feel sorry for you. Kenzie, for the last time, well, not for the last time, but for the last time on the vlog project. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching the entirety of the vlog project. Peace out.